Yeah, boy. I'm back again today with another cheap friend reaction for you guys and today I will of course be starting another album first listen we are moving straight on to the fever, se fever, fever season album first listen I will be doing this in two parts both parts will be up today thankfully um, I know it's annoying having to split it up into three songs and then just two songs but if I do more than four songs in one video it's most likely gonna get blocked Anywho, part one will consist of the three tracks, uh, the Mr. Blue, Smile and the Wish. I'm super, super excited. Let's just go. Okay, guys, let's go. So we're starting off the album first listen with the first track, Mr. Blue. Let's go. Dun, dun, dun. See? Uh, dun, dun, dun. I love that voice manipulation as well. Ooh, is that fine lane? Interesting, this is how it's different already. Ooh, that melody. Okay. Oh, I love that violin. Piano. Basically, it's Was that a 90s beat? Here comes the G-Friend sounds. Wow. Wow. This is very different, but still very cheaper. Ooh! Oh, I'm really excited about this. The 90s drums. Love that because it was very different. Like when the song first, would you even do this in general? I feel like they do put out different sounds, but the thing that I love the most about them, even the songs, the majority, some songs do just don't even sound like them. Um, but most of the time, even the songs they try that are a bit different, they still have their signature sound. So at first, when the song first started, also I just want to—I mentioned this before as well—but I'm really good at predicting what 
sounds are gonna come next, what the next note is, what the next chord is. And that just happened at, in the intro. And sometimes I feel like people watching might think that I've already heard the song, but I promise you I haven't. I'm, I just listen to so much music and analyze so much music. Sometimes I can just predict where it's going. Um, I think I said this in my twice reaction on Friday. So if you saw my twice reaction and you're watching this now, you would have heard what I had said. Anyway, um, so the song started, it has that sort of summery vibe, almost a little bit tropical with the ding 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 ding. But then the violins came in and it already automatically added in a little bit of that sort of G friend flair, but overall it didn't sound very G friend ish. But then by towards the end of the pre chorus, you had those late 80s, early 90s sort of drum pad that sort of do 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 sort of sound come in. And then the chorus, the melodies, the structure, the instrumentation was very, very, very much sort of G friend sounding. And I just loved that. I loved how the verses were something different, but then they came back in again with that very, very typical sort of G friend sound. Consistent with the melodies as always, the vocals towards the end, the ad libs. I just love G friend so much. They 100% have one of my most favorite K pop discographies of all times even the songs that sound a little bit different because it has their signature sound i just love them i just love them and that's when you know you love a group man i really enjoyed that let's go on to the next one okay guys let's go g friend smile let's go love that with the whistle as well And yeah, this has different sound as well. Parallels, 
because I literally just mentioned twice again. Um, but when I just did my um, twice album first listen, like if you go back and watch Friday's Twice reaction, there was a song in there. I can't remember what it's called. I completely forgot. My bad. Um, there's a Twice song, and I said I was like, this sounds like a G Friend song. And now a day later, because I reacted to that yesterday, a day later, that song just now it reminded me of a Twice, a Twice, a, a Twice track. If you don't listen to Twice and you love the sound of that song just now. Go and check out Twice's earlier work because I'm sure there'll be songs that you vibe with. Um, that specific sound is very, is super, super fun. But again, again, it had its G friend elements, not as much as the previous track, but there were small elements here and there within the structure of the song, and most definitely within the uh, bridge and the last moment of the bridge when you had that sort of guitar solo. Um, it was just a very fun and sweet track, and I love the melodies, of course, as always. I love the smile, smile, go, smile, smile, go. I love that part. Uh, yeah, let's go on to the next one. Okay, guys, let's go. The next track is Wish. Let's go. This is it, this is the one. This is the one. The deep house elements. Reminded me of more of like a Gong Wan Sanya track, GWSN track. I like, I love house of tracks like that. It didn't sound like a G friend song, 
Um, unlike the other ones, there weren't really any different elements, but I'm such a huge fan of that sound anyway. And they pulled it off really, really well. I really like it when G-Friend uh, do sort of more housey tracks like this. I don't know, I can't explain it. That paired with like the melodies that they usually give us, the ad-libs and just the vocals, it just goes really, really well. I just love every single thing about that. The synths, the melodies that wish, 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 just every single thing about that, bro. That was, oh my goodness gracious me. That's my favorite track on the album. We've only got two tracks left, the muffins beating that, I swear to God. That was, woo! Wish, wish, wish. Wish, wish, wish. <laughs> That's the end of part one, guys. I will see you for part two. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have subscribed, I love you. I love you. Go and follow me on Instagram, guys. Go and follow me on Twitter. And yeah, goodbye. Oh.